Hello and welcome to another episode of Street Bria Shara. I'm your host, Brandon Emichaba. Now, the banking sector, despite recording profits of 85.5 billion shillings in the six months to August 2019 in the commercial sector, has experienced a lot of mergers and acquisitions in the recent period. Much of the blame has been pushed to the cap of interest rate low, which was operationalized in 2016, with analysts concluding that the acquisitions and mergers are a reaction of the banking sector in trying to stay profitable with the most recent acquisition recorded by KCB taking over National Bank of Kenya with more such moves anticipated in the sector as the cup laws seemingly to stay. Now, the term we're looking at today is what is an acquisition? Well, we're going to find out what exactly you understand by that. Acquisition, uh, it really means to get a hold of something, to obtain ownership from a certain something. Acquisition, uh, means of obtaining something, yeah. Acquiring. Acquisition is whereby you have a, an already outstanding business and somebody else come and buy it out. Acquisition, yes, it is. Acquisition, yes, it is. Okay, acquiring, so what is acquiring? Maybe acquiring of assets. It's like close to like mergers of companies between two firms that work on a contract to strive on maybe on a common good or a common goal. Acquisition. What does that mean? When I take. When you take. Yeah. Take what? Well, it depends. What? So if we're talking of business acquisition, it's me taking your business, okay. acquiring your business. Thank you so much. Now, after getting to know what exactly you understand by the term acquisition, it's time for us to get a clear explanation of this term. And the expert helping us with that is Abraham Kamau, CEO of Miradi Capital. Thank you so much for joining me on Street Beer, Shara. You're most welcome. Now, I just want to begin with trying to understand what is an acquisition. You see, in, an acquisition is a noun that is derived from the verb to acquire. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have two companies, let's take an example of two companies, company A and company B. An acquisition is where company A buys 100% shares in company B. Now, a practical example would be, for example, the way KCB has bought 100% shareholding of mm -hmm. National Bank of Kenya. So it buys the interest and literally owns that company in whole. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's, okay. that's what an acquisition mm -hmm. is. And what role has the cap on interest rates had on the mergers and acquisitions? It may not be much, but to the extent that uh, because of the caps, the cap of the interest rate, then the banks were not very attractive in terms of people acquiring them. That's why you see one bank was acquiring another. Mm -hmm. But now with, with what is impending that the rate cap might go, you will find more interest in people wanting to acquire, to, to acquire banks either partially or, or fully. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Now banks have continued to remain profitable even as the sector continues to experience a lot of acquisitions and margins. Are we expecting more acquisitions and is this sector experiencing over-regulation from the CBK which has led to these acquisitions? You see, you, you see, what is driving the acquisitions? It's not even the, the over-regulation. It is, the, it is the, 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 the level of capital that is required to run a bank efficiently. Mm -hmm. So you're finding more and more banks that are smaller are feeling that either they need to, to acquire a bigger one or merge with another one. So so, so and also you're seeing the, 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 the mergers and acquisitions going on in, in, in the banking space. Because with the interest cap, now banks had to move away from interest income to fee income. Mm -hmm. And fee income comes from channels uh, in, in terms of now mobile banking, uh, ATMs. So those channels that are away from the bank. Okay. But this to put together, those systems and those platforms are very, very expensive mm -hmm. to, to put up and to maintain. So that capital, so, so, that, so you see that's why banks, you see two banks want to come together because by having two banks together, they'll still share the same platforms. It'll be more efficient and it'll be cheaper for them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Abraham, for breaking down acquisition process to be a shower. I do hope our viewers will now understand what the town means. Well, there you have it, but do join me on the next episode of Strip Via Shower and get to learn the next business term we are going to be looking at.